Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working on our lower abs as per your request as I have dedicated November to all my followers request workout. The way the workout's going to work today is it is 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So you're going to be working for 40 seconds and break for 10 seconds. I will be including the breaks as well. So follow along and let's get started. We are going to start with dead bug. Lie face up with your arms extended towards the ceiling and your legs in a tabletop position. Knees bent 90 degrees and stacked over your hips. Slowly extend your right leg out straight while simultaneously dropping your left arm overhead. Squeeze your butt and keep your core engaged the entire time. Lower back pressed into the floor. Bring your arm and leg back to the starting position. Repeat on the other side, extending your left leg and your right arm. Reverse plank walkouts next. Lie face up, both your arms on either side of your body, palms facing down and touching the floor. Your lower back pressed onto the floor. Walk your feet out until your legs are almost completely extended and bring them back up. Scissor switch. Lie face up with your legs straight and arms extended overhead. Extend your right leg up so that it's perpendicular to the floor. Bring your hands behind your right leg, pulling it in towards your face and crawl your shoulder blades off the floor. Lift your left leg off the floor a few inches. Switch legs, lowering your right leg so that it hovers a few inches above the floor and pulling your left leg in towards you. Continue switching your legs. Crab toe touch. Sit on the floor with your knees bent. Lace your hands behind you with your fingers facing your body. Lift your hips off the mat as you kick your right leg up straight and touch your right foot with your left hand. Lower your leg and arm back to starting position and then repeat the movement with the other hand and leg. Continue alternating sides. Reverse crunch, lie face up with your legs in a tabletop position, rest your arms on the floor by the sides of your body for stability. Use your abs to crawl your shoulders off the floor, engage your abs and slowly curl your hips off the floor. Bringing your knees towards your chest, slowly lower your hips and legs back to starting position. Hundreds, lie face up with your legs extended and arms on the floor by your sides. Lift both legs so that they're at about 45 degree angle. Curl your head up and lift your arm a few inches off the floor. Keeping your palms down, pump your arms up and down a few inches.
flutter kick. Lie face up with your arms on the floor by your sides. Engage your abs and lift both legs about six inches off the floor. Keep your lower back flat on the floor. If this is too challenging, bring your legs a little higher. Kick your feet like you're swimming freestyle for 40 seconds. Plank hop next. Start in a high plank with your palms flat on the floor, hands shoulder width apart, shoulders stacked above your wrist, leg extended, feet together and core engaged. Engage your abs and squeeze your quads to keep your legs together as you jump your feet forward and to the right, bringing your knees towards your right elbow. Jump your feet back to start and then jump your feet forward to the left, bringing your knees towards your left elbow. Jump your feet back together, continue alternating sides, start with a slow pace and focus on form. Mountain climbers, start in a high plank with your palms flat on the floor, hands shoulder width apart, shoulders stacked above your wrist. Legs extended and core engaged. Engage your core and draw your right knee to your chest. Return to starting position and immediately draw your left knee to your chest. Continue to alternate moving quickly. Make sure to keep your core engaged and back flat throughout Plank jack, start in a high plank with your palms flat on the floor, hand shoulder with a barred shoulder stack directly above your wrist, legs extended behind you and your core and glutes engaged. Jump your feet out and in like a jumping jack, try not to let your butt and hip bounce up and down as you jump your feet in and out. Continue for 40 seconds. Mountain climber twists. Start in a high plank with the shoulders stacked above your wrists, legs extended and core engaged. Draw your right knee to your left elbow, return to starting position and immediately draw your left knee to your right elbow. Continue to alternate moving quickly. Make sure to keep your core engaged and back flat throughout. If you have to slow down to maintain form, that is totally fine. In and out, start off seating upright on the floor with your legs bent in front of you, then keeping a straight back, plant your palms behind your back for support and pick your feet up as you draw your knees into your chest. From here, lean back with a straight spine and straighten your legs out in front of you, back into your chest and out in the front.
And our last exercise is the boat pose. Keeping your legs together, slowly lift them off the floor until they form a 45 degree angle to your torso. Engage your entire core. Keep your back flat and balance off your tailbone. You can keep your knees bent or straighten them out for more challenge. Reach out your arms straight in front of you, parallel to the floor. If you feel like you need some extra support, place your hands on the floor underneath your hips and hold for 40 seconds. Thank you so much for working out with me today, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy this workout. I was definitely shaky by the end of it. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I'm also gonna link down below in the description a cardio workout to pair with this one so that you get a complete workout in. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell icon so you get my notifications. Until next time, bye-bye.